arrival at objective confirmed. I've disabled the security system. You may use your fake IDs to enter the facility. Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. And this is a slightly sick forehead today. Or at least I think I'm getting bleh. But this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough. Good thing I'm not talking for an hour and a half straight and commenting on every little thing I see. Because... part we're going to be just working through all these other nodes try and get the map sorted a lot of map left so we're at one of the proto relics now second to four Assessing a situation and making sound judgments. Now then, what should be done with him? I mean, if, if, if it's war oriented. Correct. Considering what we know of the situation. It seems unlikely that the insurgents' ultimate objective was the town's occupation. Which leaves us with some questions. Ones only our detainee can answer. What? Why? I'll spare you the details. A productive interrogation revealed to us the truth. The attack on Palm was only intended to be a diversion. One which drew us away from their real target, Junon's weapon system. Suffice it to say, their plan worked. Consequently, they have seized control of our autonomous sentry unit. Your mission is to neutralize the mechanical threat. Best of luck to you out there. So their mechs were hijacked and turned against them? <laughs> Sucks to be them. Hmm. Tenet of Turk's doctrine that one must anticipate and prepare for every contingency. Yeah, they're never caught flat footed, that's for sure. Since you can use items in these. It's got our lightning damage, or at least. Offensive, not just, uh, not just auto attack based. Let's see. Enemy 
enemy units sighted. They know you're coming. The rest is up to you. Ugh. Take the lead. Tagging out. If you insist. I double cast that, didn't I? Oops. Peas, peas. Well, you certainly showed them. Hey, tell you what, I'll report back to Sub. You and Rude should take the night off. You deserve it. Mission complete. <laughs> well done, trainee. I expect more of the same. The company's armed forces are, without question, the world's greatest military power. However, our superior strength could well prove our undoing if our enemies succeeded in turning assets against us. We must deny them the opportunity, and if we fail, we must rectify the situation. This facility will enter power-saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Thank you for your excellent work. My analysis is progressing smoothly, but I fear I require more data to arrive at a conclusion. What? We're still not done yet? <laughs> Just a little more. <laughs> Talk about a pain in the butt. 
What? That combat simulator thingy of theirs is supposed to be able to do anything, right? Why do they need more than one? Previously, each unit had a facility reserved for them alone. But as an energy saving measure, they can now only be used one at a time and in order. One at a time? Mm -hmm. Cheapskates. That's a video game joke. Monsters are back. Let's do this fast. That's it. It's on you. I'm your prime unstoppable. Just Yuffie things, by the way. It's just so many hits. Should do like a frame by frame analysis of some footage when you do her her triple wind combo. Just so many instances of damage over and over and over and over and over again, even on one target. Yes, hello, Nico. We are earlier than normal, but it'll be a shorter stream today because I think I'm getting sick. So I wanted to at least stream and record and get some progress and then go back to bed. Rest up. expecting. Let's get this dig figured out. to be there. instead.
Well, that one's pointless. That was just for the cutscene to go faster all of a sudden, I guess. You know, I respect this decision, this type of exploration, but man, is it not annoying. this map is that you can't tell where the layer is there's no like up pip or down pip i thought it was on top of the plateau you see that's right here it's not Guards, riot vests, sorcerer's earrings, cetra talisman. Many things. over the ones I bought and five and five XP is These are definitely better than the champion's belts, I think. Switch to some witches armlets just for the interior though. Take the power upgrade, even though it's lacks the immune to silence utility. And watch the moment I do that, it would bite me in the butt. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Definitely better than Champion's Belt. I wish I make two of those. Cloud would like them as well, but he, where's the earring? Two loss there. Headed toward the plant with this. <laughs> the small price you pay for having a cat. Like I, I washed my face and towel dried it off everything and came back here and cleaned my glasses and there's still cat hair.
So defeat them before they evolve. Finished evolving at the very last moment. That was a very impressive showing. So impressive, in fact, that I was able to devise a new combat trial for you. And I was in charge of calibrating its difficulty level. We put a lot of thought into this, so give it a try. <laughs> You know what? The angle? Hold on. Magical blade attack that Aerith has with Yuffie is kind of cracked. So things that can take magic damage, I don't know if you saw it there, is all the number vomit. I can get, I can do some dual cast lightning. Each lightning bullets for like three thousand or like, like eighteen hundred damage. But that magic blade hits for like 3,800 when it's charged up. And an AoEs. It's super kooky.
already got this one though. I have a thing of suspicion I have to get here from the other whole other side now that I'm looking at the map. Yeah, I think I have to get here from here, but through this or just around and up through the road. Let's see. Assuming there's going to be some achievement for getting all the chocobo treasures. I'm just trying not to forget them as I run around. Souls? Hmm. 
two powerful offensive abilities. All right. You ready? Ow. Let's do this. Oh my god. Is that cow blind? How did you get first strike standing right in its face? <laughs> Great job. We've amassed a considerable amount of data on the fiends within the Gungaga region. On Chowley's behalf, allow me to express my gratitude. My, I must insist that you not put words in my mouth. Oh, but I am grateful, of course. And to prove it, I have made a new combat trial so that you may test your might. A fitting gift, I should think. Mortal Kombat time. Test your might. Anything here? This huge area. Poison material. The first strike system though is just you attacking or using the attack command before the uh, red bars fill up, that's all. Here we have to go down anyway. Just hop over here. I ran past this during the story, I think.
south from Mogsul in the north around into this, maybe? What did you just say? Guidance protocol. No best for its distinct fangs. The Gaji Gandhi is believed to have migrated to these lands from a faraway continent. There it was revered as a sacred creature and featured in the family crests of royalty. While it's unclear how and why the Gaji Gandhi became established in Gagaga, some suspect it was drawn to the region's Mako deposits. Recent reports suggest the creatures have begun to expand their territory. Their presence has undoubtedly altered the Gagaga ecosystem, and I hope you will assist me in my quest to find out how. I don't know why Mai keeps pronouncing Gun Gaga. Gagaga. She's not saying, she's not hitting the O-N. It's Gun Gaga. Gun Gaga. So when I heard her say, the Gaji Gaga Gaga, I was like, <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, <laughs> so stupid. I don't think that can happen to her, Nico. She's a, she's a computer program. Well, maybe you can. Okay. Don't overdo it. You're in good hands now. Got you now. You need to chill. This victory is all but guaranteed. Not that one, did ya? Again, still just Yuffie things, by the way. Oh, whoops. Hope you're ready. concerning that Chadley, a cyborg that is an AI, created Mai, who is a digital AI. 
And then that child of AI is a simp for Cloud. Anime. No, as far as I know, Mai is not a physical being. She's just purely digital. All right. Is that actually in here? Or somewhere else? I'm stuck on stuff I can't see. Not that it really matters, because us gamers just kind of accept it. But I love how, I don't know when it happened, like what game spawned it. That ever since whatever point in time that was. These uh, adventure style roaming open world games that have water physics. We just hand wave the, you can't jump out of water, but all video games just do it because. Cloud, upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. It's hidden within overgrown ruins. If my readings are correct, these mysterious structures predate even the Republic. Goodness, what an adventure. Excuse me? Oh, all this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I was over here earlier. I mean, yeah, games must be fun, of course. Otherwise, why are you going to play it? I just think it's funny that the suspension of disbelief at certain aspects, obviously, we have little... Side note, I feel like I'm talking more in these ep this episode than I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be. Materia, right? It's an orb. Baseball-sized... Like when Jesse hands you the orb of materia first thing in remake, it's like or her whole hand, right? Here is an orb of materia. Does it shrink or grow like the one ring based on the size of the apparatus? Because materia in weapons is tiny little marbles. So do you just like hold the big orb next to the small receptacle? For your materia and it goes like and shrinks down and then you slot it in how's that work 
And then you see Yuffie juggling materia. It's it's like, you know, baseball sized orbs. I don't know why I even asked. I look over at chat and the first thing I see is magic. Well, duh. Materia is coalesced energy from the life stream and the life stream is people. So it's magic people orbs. Sorry, dead. Magic, dead, dead magic people or pe people dead. Or magic. Let's see if we can't find that chip. Oh, because I'm too close to enemies. You're dead. Gotcha. Yeah, they're tiny ghost balls. Mm-hmm. Manifestation of the planet Splendor. Marlboro orbs. Marlboro orb. Once we finally get that boy to stop to start speaking with his real voice, it'll still not be not funny. But really? It's above me. Sorry, team. Sorry, sorry. Bring the horns in. Jeweled ring, white cape. Almost done. Crocodile is in there somewhere. And Outlaw. Oh my god, I need so much beast hide. And 
We can upgrade all these. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh gosh. The duration of detrimental status effects applied to foes reduces duration of detrimental status effects inflicted on the wearer. There's an accessory. So it could be good on someone that has like D brave, D faith, D protect, D shell, poison, slow. Like a D buffer, essentially. likely. Mm -hmm. Alright, back here for the proto relic. I don't think they're I don't know if the original would have as much use for it the uh the, on the topic of debuffing enemies and stuff but in this I can definitely see the, the potential in doing it just because of the maybe in hard mode just because of some of the damage scaling just because of how many more options I guess you have, which I suppose almost all these options were in the original too. This is not the way, is it? Keeping protect or shell up and then hasting your allies. That's yeah. I think it in the old game because everything is ATB only. Like there's no auto attacking. There's no residual damage. There's nothing like that. I think in this there's so much more damage you deal with? I don't know. Yeah, see, these are spines. So many of these enemies here are spines. You're done. This one's for you. Gotcha. Uh, moving on, then.
But it's just a playstyle thing. If you make yourself take less damage and you do more damage, it's pretty equal to making enemies deal less damage and then take longer to do damage. Have the same effect. Let's dispense with the formalities. For your next mission, you'll be my bodyguards. Hmm. Not that I had need of any, but no matter how much I protest, this one never listens. Hostile forces have infiltrated Junon and disguised themselves as allies. You must take care to discern friend from foe and ensure no harm comes to the president while waiting for helicopter extraction. Make us proud, trainee. Oh! Can I be a bad guy? Shall we? Sure. Just watch who you're shooting, okay? Ooh, can I be a bad guy? I don't know if I'll need more stagger or if I'll need more magic damage, so I'll bring them both. Swap in the teen girl squad. Enemy vanguards advancing on your position. Be ready to intercept. You Keep it together. This? I got this. Right Is that away. it? Holding position. Do a scan here. Watch yourself. You won't regret. Do me proud. Take it over. Do that. that. all one timer interesting i got your number The 
close for where. That was very easy. This way, Mr. President. Right. That was quite an exhilarating experience. Thanks for the company. Yeah, whatever, dickhead. Mission complete. Our president is the heart of the company. He cannot be replaced. It is vital that we keep him from harm, even if it costs us our lives. Keep that in mind on future missions. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. I have almost everything I need to restore the data. All right, then. Let's do it to it. The sooner we finish this thing, the sooner we can show them what we're really capable of. Oh, I have to go to the air airfield for the next one. Okay. This is a good question. R4 in chat brings up, wait, this is an abandoned training facility. Why was it updated to have Rufus as the president? I take that one step further. It's Rufus that has interactions with the trainees that are here. But Rufus has only been president for weeks to months. And how long has this been abandoned in Gongaga? A year plus ago? I don't know. Video game. Or Shinra bullshit. Or I don't know. I got this. This ends here. Gotcha. Heads up. It's on you. If you insist. <laughs> Stop now. Abra, do something or other here. No. Be good. Bring it. Uh, uh, well, can't fault him for trying. I don't know if it's a plot hole. I guess we don't know when it was abandoned. Because Elena is also here. And Elena is only a new Turk, but when was she trained? And also based on how things go with Turk training. How do I get down from here? Like how, oh, I guess we go up from here. How even old are Turks? I know Cloud says he's 21, but. Yeah, it, it still all could be connected to the stuff at Shinra Tower that obviously has the updates. So those updates still, you know, go here even if it's an abandoned facility. How do I get out of here? Why update the software even remotely? Oh. If anything, it should just should just have been Rufus's father. My only side thought is that maybe they didn't want to have Rufus the uh, President Shinra. I forgot what his name is. Rufus's dad here because they would have had to have the voice actor back for very little bits of lines just for continuity. So, I don't know. I didn't even think of it at first. I just thought it was, you know, it's just 
some stupid Turk program. Yeah, it could just be all updated from Shinra HQ. That's for your people here, man. the last one all the way back here unless this training facility isn't connected to the airstrip let's go find this damn chicken first go back here to restart that quest I think I might have to we had to follow red don't forget we have unfinished business with chickens here we go it's time we resumed our search
just not hearing it. Oi, oi, oi. Shit. Oh, it was like a dinosaur or something. It kind of is, I guess. You owe me one. Oh yeah. I got your number. <laughs> all right, all right. Take the lead. found fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste you speak chicken more or less they were quite eager to return to the village Kazra must take excellent care of them we should go too all right So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member. So it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu. They, may they have a million jobs, jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> if you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. No money or materia required. Well, thanks, Cisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield and under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Hmm. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just, I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. <laughs> Oh, 
Cloud, Yuffie. I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. I'll consider it after you consider paying me. Where's my materia? Three orbs or two? Two's good. Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude. Mm-hmm. Is the world leveling with me? We are playing on normal mode. Normal mode means that the game is balanced at the way that it was intended. There is a mode called dynamic, which means that the entire game would level with me, but it is still normal mode. So that means that every time you do anything, it's the same level you are. I didn't want to do that as this is my first time playing this game and that it would be a new part of the game would be easier, but I don't want to run back to like the grasslands for something later or when we go back to Corel and I'm level, I don't know, 55, 60 and then like the same cactuar that we were beating up at level 35 will be level 60. So some things can be easier because that's just how power scaling works in uh, RPGs. So I just went with normal mode for our first run through here. I'm going to do a hard mode playthrough anyway. And the hard mode playthrough will all be at max level. The whole game will be level 70, so. My darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippily. <gasps> Scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. They... They could have lived long and happy lives running free. <laughs> if I hadn't... Well... We all gotta eat? Oh! I bet that's good for this section. We're going to end on that note. Thank you for watching live if you have been or if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you as well. There's plenty of other playlists if you want to watch Final Fantasy 16 or all three Dark Souls games, everything. Bloodborne, Elden Ring, both God of War, both Jedi games, Super Mario RPG, the new Dead Space. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm a... <laughs> Good gracious, see you all in the next one. <laughs> Not expecting that. <laughs>